Okay, what's going on YouTube? Okay, here's what we got going on today. Got a motor mount. Yep, from CDH Power, guys. Bought it for the Huffy. Just like I said I was going to do. Okay, I know it's not tight. It's just laying here. See, it's just laying there. So, this is the mount. It does fit the frame. Fits the frame really well. The only downside to this mount is that when, if you order one of these mounts, there's a couple things that I don't like about it, personally, but that's not a fail, okay? It's a really nice mount for its price. I will buy more. First and foremost is when this is in place, like this. You're going to have to put a washer in between both of these. If you can see that, a little bit of play in between these two pieces here. Okay? Just to make that play go away. That's first and foremost, which is not really a big deal. Okay? Second off, is these motor mounts are not really meant for uh, the new motors. Okay? They're meant for the old motors. Now we've got a we've got a new motor here. Here, let's move this helmet. One hot second. Okay. Uh, now this is one of the new motors now. This is the 40 millimeter mouth. Okay. And uh, now this does not fit. This does not fit this at all. Okay. Uh, crap. I know it looks like it, it fits, but it, in all actuality, it does not fit. Because if you take a stud or a bolt, whatever you want to say, and you can get one in it, but you can't get the other. Okay. See? See what happens there? It's just too short. So, this is what, see, no matter what you do, no matter how much you push, there's not enough meat on these edges to really cut out any more because they're already on a fine line. It's aluminum. It's not steel. So, Here's the fix for this, guys. Okay. I didn't realize this until after I purchased this and it was shipped. It was too late by that time. So, this is what I'm going to do. This is the plan, and this is what I'm going to show you guys. Okay. If you take... Okay, you take your motor mount, right? Take your motor mount plate. Now, looky here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Nah. Okay, hold on a minute here. I'm try to do this all with one hand if I can so everything's in, in frame but now if you take this and you can mount this plate to your motor mount and you can mount your motor to your plate okay that's the whole thing that's the key you still have to use the plate but that's okay. That's why they made these plates the way they made them. Okay? That's why these new plates are made the way they're made. Just in case you have this issue, they're not going to change these mounts. For the simple fact that there's too many old engines out there running around still. Okay? And I don't blame them. They've made enough change in the plate. 
for the motor mounts. So that's our fix, folks. That's your fix. So mount your plate and then mount your and then mount your mount. Okay. You know what I mean? Ah dog shit. So yeah, that's that's the whole key guys. You get the gist of it. Cause it just doesn't fit. Just doesn't fit. That's all. So now you guys know if you guys buy this motor mount, what to do and how to do it. And that's that's the fix for it. Hope this helps. Okay, what's going on YouTube? Okay. Here's the Huffy again. Okay, just like I said I was gonna do, I bought the motor mount. Okay. Just like you've seen in the last bit and piece of the video it does fit the frame it is bolted in place it's nice and tight okay i know some things are missing on this motor but this is a mock-up motor for now uh, to get this motor mount in place properly and then get it right situated okay just like i said before we had to use the plate which is just fine which in actuality works like I said it would so there it is it does fit the frame just like I thought it would